Spaniels are everywhere. They've been ambushed and been sidewalked. Sir! Whoa, whoa, Colonel whoa. Wood is dead and his command ambushed and surrounded. Bull pucky! I just left Colonel Wood. He and his boys are kicking hell out in Federals. Federals? The Spaniards, sir. But this man just reported it. We should have waited for General Shafter! I saw this son of a bitch run with his tail between his legs. He is a deserter. He's a disgrace to the uniform. And he should be kept. Oh, no, you're you're right. Right. Sir! You fired! Right. What you got on there? You fired! Right. 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 You, right. right. you running right. again! You son of a bitch! He's running again! Oh, I'm out of ammunition. Now pay attention. Them Yankee Spanish rifles don't make any smoke, so they're hard to find. But we are finding them, we are killing them, we are advancing. Hey, you get your blue belly in that up off that goddamn beach and tie into the right and turn the flank on these bastards, then we'll get the fox back in the hen house. Do you understand? Wadsworth. Don't look at him. Keep moving. Fired on my men. You killed some of my men. These are insurrectos, and I'm an American. Major Funston, I can't take it back. We're all going to the same place. Let's go there together. G troop, fast skirmishers, I'm the devil. Buenos, adelante. That go through? I would assume so. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Lieutenant Pershing. By God, it's good to see you here, sir. And you, sir. A Troop, the 10th, will be on my left. Your left, sir. Very well. I have your right of line.
listen, Jack. By God, the Rough Riders have turned a flank first blood to the cavalry. Saber, man. Theodore! I'm afraid I've left it. Stand by, Buffalo soldiers! Make ready! Colonel Roosevelt! Left it. Theodore! Right and left wings! Bullet troops in echelon! Action front! Out to contact! Advance! Sound the charge! Charge! Sir, wishes you'd know the Rough Riders have turned the right flank. Hallelujah! Yes, sir. Hot damn! Spanish are retreating all across the line, sir. Praise the Lord, we got those damn Yankees on the run. The Spaniards, sir, the Spaniards, and they fall back on the bad position. Don't spoil it, sir. Don't spoil it. We're going to lick them tomorrow. <laughs> Hot damn! Come on, son. <laughs> How'd you get here? I walked, sir. Shouldn't you be back with the other correspondents? They don't like my company, and I slept late. What's wrong with you? I'm a narcotics user and a drunk, and I don't give a damn. <laughs> Oof. Well, yes. Then good luck to you, son. Good luck, damn it. Boom! Yeah. Keep your head down. Ain't dead. And uh I believe about over 30 more over 30 wounded. Theodore, those casualties are regrettable but acceptable. This is an important position. Now your man O'Neill did a fine job of turning the flank. Go deploy your troops against counterattack. <sighs> yes, sir. Line, this side of the bridge. That, sir, is the Spanish Mauser in 7 millimeter. Spanish Hornet. How bad are you hit, son? <laughs> Through the bowels, sir. <laughs> Done for. And the Germans make a damnably fine rifle. This one is better than ours. <laughs> Why 
Find El Pozo Hill on that map, Captain Leno. That's where we're going. Let the infantry dig in. Find out what General Wheeler's got in mind. Yes, sir. What's your name, Trooper? Uh, uh, Harry Lavender of Gallup, New Mexico. Could you tell my folks how this came to pass? I don't think I'll be going home. Today, in this fetid jungle, America met its first test. American boys, all walks of life, met the trained, disciplined masses of medieval Europe and stopped them cold in their brutish onslaught. Our boys at dawn faced the gleaming helmets and flashing bayonets oh, and no saved... gleaming helmets, Willie. We're in the jungle. Oh, shut up, Freddy. Just do your part and paint. But it's not... True. Truth is the first casualty of war, and you should know that. Consuelo, dummy and puro, por favor. Flashing sabers and gleaming helmets of the Spanish. Nash. Did well, Henry. You mentioned in dispatches. Nash? What did he do? He turned the flank. I'll be damned. Will he get a medal? It's hard to say. A lot of men deserve something today. Poor fish. It's hard to say. Are you all right, Henry? No, I'm done. It's over for me. Good luck to the rest of you boys. What's your name, trooper? Wadsworth, Craig. The Wadsworth. <laughs> You're wounded? A red badge of courage. It's not like your book, old man. I would have run if I could have. Why didn't you? They were watching. My fellows, they didn't run. Don't you think they wanted to? One of them did. Now he's a hero. <laughs> Cigarillo, old boy. Thank you. I killed a man. Maybe two. I didn't see for sure, but I know. May have missed? No, I didn't miss. I'm too fine an athlete. Now I'm a murderer. There's nothing manly about it. I'm filled with guilt. I feel sick, foul. I feel dirty. Well, you think too much, Wadsworth. Just try getting drunk. All of us are guilty. You're not special. You're right. You're right. And I'll get what's coming to me. We all do. <laughs> oh, 
officer on the village. Settle down there. I'm taking the horse for me. Yeah, Persia, my compliments on your color trips. Sir. That was a splendid advance. Uh, Such discipline. Thank you, sir. Where's your Where's your Good evening, General. Welcome to the Rough Rack. Good evening, Colonel. It's a joy to be here. Just telling our Theodore here that uh, he did rather well today. Oh, no, sir. I'm not a regular soldier. I was lost. But you, sir, you made sense of it. We were all lost. And that's the darn truth of it. But we shot ourselves out. The truth of it is we were ambushed, like rank amateurs. If those had been Chiricahua Apaches, we'd have been cut off and slaughtered. I should have known better. I was just nervous and uncertain. Oh, come now, Leonard. Theodore, tell us about your saber. Saber? Oh, that. <laughs> I tripped over it twice, actually. <laughs> and then I gave it to Marshall, who mercifully lost it out in the Cuban chaparral. <laughs> what in hell were you doing with the damn saber? Well, I read in the U.S. Cavalry Manual of Tactics and Regulations that... Roosevelt, this isn't a regulation war. That's not the way we do things down here in the South. Now, don't mention this ambush again. Don't mention them Chihuahua Apaches again. It was a probe and a combined assault. We don't want those damn Yankee generals have anything on us now, do we, gentlemen? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. What's the cook have to eat? Some bomb beef, General. And a very large Cuban snake, sir. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going to eat in the dark, so I can't see what I'm eating. <laughs> By George, I love that old gentleman. He's a regular gamecock. <laughs> Theodore. Get off your back. My apologies, Colonel. I, I was overcome by mirth. It's rather callous, isn't it? <clears throat> Laughing while, while Capron and Fish lie dead. Why don't you take a picture? northern point of the defense is the village of El Caney. You see it, sir? Hell, I can't see a damn thing from here. It's a stretch of south of the San Juan Heights. It's all fortified. Rifle pits. Those damn German guns. Krupp batteries and Maxim rapid fire guns, sir. We believe they are manned by German advisors. Well, what do you suggest, Lawton? Artillery and a broad assault. Artillery, that's always the only answer. You, sir, don't have any artillery. And you, General, has malaria to contend with. And if you don't do something fast, we're all gonna die right here in this place. You all right, Joe? The General is delirious, but that's never stopped him in the past. Begging the General's pardon. General Wheeler is correct, sir. We must assault. There is a relief column from Havana three days out. Now is the time, sir, while the rain lets up. Right, sir? Hell no, I'm not all right. For God's sake, somebody get this man to the hospital before he infects all of us. And Young, you and Lawton, draw up a plan. We have already taken the opportunity, sir. Have Wood take the brigade. Well, who'll take his regiment? Roosevelt. Attention. No, 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 no. Stand easy as you were. Yes, sir. Sure comes down in the tropics, doesn't it? Yes, sir, it does. Well, that shouldn't last long. There's going to be a fight tomorrow, ain't there, Colonel? Yes. That means it's going to be bad, doesn't it, Colonel?
Well, what do you boys want after this is over? I know exactly what I'm going to do, sir. I want to go to one of those fancy restaurants on Fifth Avenue in New York City. I'm going to order beef steak and chili, and I want it served to me by one of them waiters with the linen over his arm <laughs> and, and champagne. Great big bottle of it, iced. <laughs> I'll drink the whole damn thing. And then, after that, I want to find me a fine whore, a real pretty one, someone that's, that's so good at what she does that she make me think that she loves me. That's not too much to ask now, is it, Colonel? No, I don't think so. Craig? Sir? Why did you join up? I suppose I wanted to prove something to my father. Now I know I needed to prove something to myself. These are the finest men I'll ever know, sir. I never knew a man. You're the closest thing to a father I ever knew. Sure as hell won't let you down. We're ready, Colonel. For tomorrow, you can count on us. I know. Woodbury, I was wondering what the men think. Why they think we are here. Some think we're here to liberate the oppressed. Others, well, some say it's to make Cuba safe for purchase, for the good of the sugar investors and tobacco interests. Either way, it's all right with me, sir. I'm here for the regiment. You're no, senor. Perdóname. But I believe, senor. I see how these people look at me. I, I look into their eyes, and, and I know what they expect. And, and I like to think that when some little compañero is, is hungry and being kicked, and his woman is being taken by men with boots, he too will believe that un americano like me will, will come to help them and make things right. Is it worth dying for? Hamilton Fish thought so, sir. And I hope it wasn't for the good of the sugar market. I'm ashamed to admit this, sir. But I'm glad that it was him and not me. But I assure you that I will collect the debt from the Spaniards for the lives of Cavern and Fish. We all will. I'm more alive now than I ever was. I intend to stay that way. Colonel, sir. Captain O'Neill. Sorry if I intruded, gentlemen. Not at all. I procured this jug of whiskey. I'd like to propose a toast, gentlemen. to the regiment. They will be killed, wounded, or promoted. Here, here. here.
estimates, we shall take El Caney by 9 o'clock. It's not terribly imaginative. Why not march around their flank? The sea, old man. The sea is on the flank. The jungle is on the other. It'll be a bloodbath. That's what you've come to see, isn't it? Good luck on this day, Stephen. Use some common sense so that we can raise some hell in Santiago. Rum and senoritas to the survivors. Oh, I shall look forward to it, sir. <laughs> chewing on my leg before. It's the smell. They likes the smell. Take the money, Henry. Take my share of money. It's the yellow jack. Oh, God. You always wanted the money, Henry. Take the money. Go to Mexico. What's that fella talking about? Nothing. Can't you see? He's crazy. He's got the fever. Don't pay no attention to him. It's crazy. I ain't never got nothing to be hanged for, so help me God. Nothing to be hanged for, so help me God. That fella got the yellow jack. And I don't care what nobody say. We all gonna get it. Stop saying that! Say that General Wheeler got the fever. A lot of horses pulling through this mud. They're getting ready again. There's gonna be a battle soon. <laughs> oh, that, that, that horse. The, the horse sat in my food. <laughs> Oh, gosh, you remember Shiloh? You remember what I did to Shiloh? Yes, sir, I do. Oh, his Yankee yellow belly. Yes, sir. <laughs> Calm down, sir. You need to sleep. Yes. I need to sleep. Yes, sir. There's a battle going on, you idiot. Come on, let's go. Compliments to Captain Grimes, and he may commence his preparatory fires. Yes, sir. Colonel's compliments, sir. Commence preparatory fire. Ready! Load! Thank you. 
I mean, General, sir. I'm sorry. Lawton and Young should have taken El Caney by now. They'll turn the flank of these heights, and we'll conduct a frontal assault. I assure you, sir, that our regiment shall not embarrass... Your regiment, Theodore. Your regiment. Yes, sir. Good luck, my old friend. God be with you, Leonard. These are yours now. Do them honor. down and Wood's taking over the brigade. Who's taking over the regiment? I am. Well, now that's front page news, old man. Finally, Roosevelt's Rough Riders. Don't you get the feeling that old Teeth the door really likes me? The man would have much on his mind. You like this? So far, it's all a bust. Ammunition forward! <laughs> You haven't touched it yet! Yes, sir! Excuse me! General Wood! Uh, have they no artillery of their own? I don't know, Mr. Marshal. 500 metros! 500 metros! Fuego! Fuego! Fire! wishes to report that the attack on El Caney has been met with heavy resistance. Caney must be taken, regardless of cost. You'll have to order Kent and Wood to assault the heights without the flanking support of Lawton. God help us, they are pouring it down, those boys. before I joined the regiment. Was that good advice? Yes. Did you follow it? No. What about you? What are you thinking about in all of this? 
naked women. My compadre. The shells is getting closer. Must be hell up there. You know, they always put the cavalry up front. Yeah, they do, don't they? A lot of boys gonna be dying. A lot of boys gonna be crying for their mom. Ain't it funny how when a growed up man, when he dying, how he cry for his wife and his mama? It don't matter how brave he is or what he done. He's sweet again, just like a little child. Roosevelt. One never knows. Well, I intend to find out, Pershing. Saddlers, Arjo Wilson. Earth. Get on this horse. We ride to division headquarters. You tell them that we're taking help from these heights, and if we don't attack, nobody's going to be left here to make an attack. Is that clear? Yes, sir. No one to make an attack. Yes, sir. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a soldier, sir. I'll go. Get back here! Get back here! 
get it this time. Come on, come on. The Yankees need to be put down. Give me my hand. Come on, baby. I'll wait. Could fire my dispatchers for me. I don't mean ahead of yours, but you file them when you can. I'd be happy to. I have a notebook. Yeah. Take my 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 camera. What's happening, Greg? Stay. I got on. There's your white cavalry over there. Goodbye, my friend. I hope you live to be an old codger. Good luck, Arizona. Good luck. We done the right thing? Maybe not. Welcome back, old man. Ash. Splendid behavior. Where's the old man at? Right there in front of you. What you did the other day. Why in the hell did you come back? I came back for you, sir. I come back for them. I got lonely. Thought maybe. Maybe what? Thought maybe I could do some good, be of some use. Thought maybe I could help somebody. Never be any use. Where's your weapon? I got the weapon.
here. Take mine. Damn it, sir. This is your rifle here. Point it at them, damn it, not me. Sir, you better get down, you might get hit. There ain't a Spanish bullet made and kill me. Nash! No! No! Oh, no! Remembers you and what you did for us. Goodbye, sir. Bill, man, your gun. Build a statue if I have to. Sergeant Marchand. You will stand by my side. Yes, sir. Ready? 
Stand by the colors! Music! Sound the advance! Chachos! You have heard the colonel! We are going to advance in rushes! Watford! You are acting sergeant! You take first section, take Indian Bob with you! Yes, sir! Indian Bob! This is what they pay you! Thirteen dollars a month for! Nash! You are acting corporal! You take Eli! Now we gotta let you beat us up that hill! Get up your bellies! First and second section! On your feet! And Lost a colonel. Units are all mixed up. Have what units that are able make the assault. Absorb your ammo! Don't punch up! Stay with me, Marchor! Yes, sir! Music! ground on our right flank, General. We must maintain that advance on the entrenchments. Get into that Zeppelin! We've got to achieve a, a breach in those lines. Come on! 
do you think, sir? And you will guide the San Juan Heights? We can't, sir! Good! Then the Rough Riders will move on Kettle Hill and review the right! Very good, sir! Good luck! Thank you, sir! Sergeant Marchar! Sir! Bring up Little Texas! Yes, sir! Blockhouse 500 yards. Yes, sir. Alone, though. Gentlemen, James, the general advance has been ordered on the Santiago Heights. You're more than welcome to join me. 
It's this way to Santiago. Someone has blundered. There's so few. There's so few. They're having a chance. Tenth and the seventy-first are held up on San Juan Hill. Still moving up. God. They haven't stopped. More. Now our men are going, moving up the hill, advancing into the teeth of steel, lead and fire, piercing the red breath of the beast. What a sight! My God, listen to the mirror! Listen! American would give an arm to see this. Are you feeling better? Yes. I'm glad you were here. This is a great day. Even if it is my last. No, no, no. Mustn't talk about it. San Juan Hill and shoot the heads off those Spaniards. Very good, sir. There you go. Yes, sir. Woo! Section! Action left, San Juan! Lockout, 500 yards! 500 yards! Yes, sir! Send the Spaniards our compliments. You mean it'll work? Bomb break! Prepare to fire by volley! Well, who knows how to work it? Come on, Billy. He does. Nick Schiesen! Nick Schiesen, comrade! Well, Nick Schiesen! Nick Schiesen! Henry! Don't! No. Henry! Not yet! Not yet! Ah. Don't touch him! I need the hun! Bring him over here! Watch it! Get those packs on gun! I want to point it on those hikes! Back in the English! Nein, Herr Obers! We put man diese Waffe! I can see Dan Gertmann direct in the side island! I can see it feet from the right! Put it through in the mob! Was noch? Was noch? Pack schneller, was noch? Rufen Sie Slowship und vorwärts! All right. Push the boat forward twice. 
Again, Craig. I'll stop. Rugensee, Abdul Nida. Press the trigger. What are you waiting for, Lieutenant Payne? Sergeant Tiffany! Oh, All right! Oh. Gentlemen in England, line of edge, shall think themselves a curse. They were not here. And hold their man who do. Chief. We band the brothers that fought with us on St. Christmas, Christmas Day. Day. What are they talking about? They're educated men. Deutsche, danke schön. Top. Rising steadily like a tide, I could see men silhouetted against the sky. I could see the flags. I could see the flags, old man. I could see the flags! Waving like freedom!
the top. They're at the top. This day is ours! We will never be forgotten! Never! History will remember this day, my friend. It's all right, Colonel. It's all right. It'll never be the same. Crane, what happened to him? Hit through the spine. Paralyzed, I'm afraid. I'm sorry for your misfortune, Marshal. We must do something for him, Willie. Lincoln, see to him. Take him to the beach, to my yacht, notify my surgeons immediately, and give him a good cigar. Right away, Mr. Hurst. I shall see to it that you have the finest medical care that money can provide, sir. Thank you, sir. No, it is I who owes thanks to you, sir, for your sacrifice. And you'll be happy to know we shall beat every other newspaper to this story. You honor me with your valor, sir. An honor returned, sir. sir I'm all right did you get hit colonel no boys in the tent sure can't fight you drink out of my canteen in the time you guys didn't do so bad yourselves good job colonel 
Theodore. Theodore. Well done, old friend. We lost a great many friends here today. I am dreadfully sorry for calling you cowards. I was mistaken. Please forgive me. There are no cowards here. Mr. Crane. Mr. Crane, would you be so kind with your camera to take a photograph of our regiment on this glorious hill? For we shall always live in its shadow. It would be an honor, sir. very much. Now look 
at these roosters. My, you boys have grown so tall. <laughs> Makes me feel short. Good Where's good my little bags. bunnies? Ah. Hmm. <laughs> How are you? Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, let me look at you. Thank you, Edith. I lost 20 pounds of you. I haven't seen you boys since the First World War ended. We licked the Kaiser soundly. My wife's fine. My oldest is off to Harvard. And I'm fine. A millionaire now. I never forgot the start you gave me. I saw Theodore and his wife at their home in Oyster Bay. He's not in good health. But damn, he was the finest president we'll ever have. Lost a son in the war. He told me something that you ought to like. He said, we turn the page of history. Well, I probably won't get out of here next year. I'll see you boys soon enough. Adios, compadres. Shall never sound in slave.